What's up guys, Dark Deli here, playing Metal Gear Solid V, The Phantom Pain. And uh, today we're quite a bit farther than we were last time. Today what I want to do is a uh, little side op here, which I'm pretty sure is going to turn into a shit show. Alright, so I've got the uh, full battle dress on, because uh, I've not been so successful in being stealthy. <laughs> you guys know me, I like to run and gun. Uh, so we got the uh, full battle dress. i got D-Dog with me, I haven't been able to develop any armor or anything for him yet. So we got a little naked D-Dog. I'm running a suppressed sniper rifle, uh, a lethal pistol, and a uh, decent little assault rifle. Let's go ahead. Oh, here's our chopper. Let's go ahead and uh, let's catch you right over to Emmerich. Let's see how this goes. I, I recall this being a really bitchy side off. Let's find out. Now, I have Quiet and I have D-Horse and I have D-Dog. I guess the only one I'm missing is the Walker. But honestly, D Dog's kind of my favorite because, uh, man, D Dog's a great little guy to have around. Because he, he does all the, the busy work of marking stuff for me. It's actually kind of a toss up for me between him and Quiet. Quiet is great because she can shoot whatever I want her to shoot. But D Dog, especially once you get him upgraded, man, he is a lethal tool in your toolbox. And even right now, he's good at marking and distracting enemies. Yeah, no, I've not been so good at avoiding detection, so that's, why, again, why I'm wearing the battle dress. Oh, there's that truck. Oh, man. I wanted to... I wanted to extract that truck. Departing. I try to always extract vehicles whenever I can, uh, and then I sell them to make money. That's usually what I do, is I farm vehicles. All right, let's go ahead and see if we can get us a landing zone somewhere near this uh, this side op here. Now, I do have Quiet. I don't, I, I guess, I, I should say I don't have her fully yet. I have her, but I don't have her fully. Even still, I kind of prefer D-Dog. Uh, he, he's a good companion to have. So we're going to land here. I'll probably edit some of this out. We're going to make our way. So here, we can, oh, here you can see my loadout that I've got. I've got a bit of development done on some things, and well, this is the best we can do. I'm not terribly sneaky in this uh, heavy armor, but then I'm not terribly sneaky anyway. You guys know I'm horrible at being sneaky. Um, I'm a little rusty with this game. It's been a while. Now, get my sea legs back and I'll be back in business. Especially once I get some more options. Especially once I get some of that, you know, ooh, that skull armor and some of that really cool stuff. All right, let's see where this is landing. This is landing us right at 5 a.m. I never really choose day or night. I just go ASAP. Now, and one thing about this game, one thing about this, if you guys have, you know, haven't played Metal Gear Solid V, The Phantom Pain, the enemy in this game adapts to you. So the more headshots you make, the more they start wearing helmets. You know, the more you attack at night, the more they start wearing night vision, etc. So I try to mix it up and attack during all time, you know, times of day. As it is, the guys are definitely equipping themselves with night vision, flashlights, and the like. Okay, we're gonna be heading that way. Let's see, is there anyone here? This is what's nice about having D-Dog, is I don't have to uh, really worry about marking. He'll handle that for me. The downside is, with D-Dog, I don't have any transportation. I guess I should have deployed with the vehicle, shouldn't I? That's okay, I'll edit out the running part. I don't mind running so much. Let's go ahead and set our waypoint, though, so we at least know where we're going. We're going... We're going right here. Point Bravo. And we got a bit of a hike. Well, let's go ahead and start our adventure here. We're close enough. Let's go ahead and... Uh, ah, stupid contextual buttons. <laughs> I was actually trying to uh, Fulton the car out. I think I'm done with it for right now. And we can use it for later. Or sell it for money. Usually I sell tanks. Tanks are my main, usually, form of income. Alright. Captured an enemy vehicle. Just like weapons and items, you can use your oh shit, we got a guy right there. I think we can. can also let members of the combat... Not incredibly sneaky with this armor on. Yeah, that's okay. That's what happens when you wear battle armor. That's no problem. No, you're not calling reinforcements. No reinforcements for you. I've gone to just killing these guys. I've stopped using the less than lethal uh, solutions because these guys have been pissing me off, so I've just been killing them. Alright, that's him down. 
Yeah, I've been pretty ruthless lately, just killing guys. And yeah, again, I'm not very stealthy, but I'm not wearing stealth armor. I have this sneak suit, but uh... If he's on the brink of death, it's hard to say whether he'll survive at Fulton Extraction. Yeah, I don't care about Fulton extract Extraction. Someone who's on the verge of death. You better use the chopper. I've got enough uh, staff at my base. You guys haven't played this game. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm just taking it on. Uh, yeah, yeah. If you haven't played this game, <laughs> there's a you can you can get, do a lot of micromanagement with uh, with your base, um, staffing it, manning it, deciding who does what, delegating responsibilities between staff members, etc. Building the base, developing things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's actually have a look at that right now. Let's go. Um, I can develop a lot of stuff. Let's see if there's anything useful. Can I develop anything for D-Dog yet? I think I need a specialist. I think is what I'm waiting on before I can develop for D-Dog. Okay, yeah, I need an electro spinning specialist for that. Um, let's see if I can get any new weapons. I know I'm just putting off this mission. I have been putting off this mission. All right, so we got lots of pistols available. Let's check out one by one. So pistols, I've done the less than lethal route, but now I'm kind of trying out some suppressed regular pistols. We are here. What's this take? This takes... Alright, so yeah. Now that I can extract... I, I now have the transportation specialist, so I can extract vehicles and containers and such. So now I can start getting a lot more resources. You know, I have not tried this gun out yet. How much GMP do I have? I have enough to try this out. I should really try out as much stuff as I can. Let's go ahead and... Um... Let's give this pistol a go. Oh, how about that? I can do the next level of it, and then the next level. Oh, it's got a less than lethal option. Let's go down this tree. Well, you know, I really should try everything. That was like a quarter million GMP, though. That was a lot. Yeah, yeah. We need to make some more GMP. That's okay, guys. Uh, what I like to do to make GMP is one thing is I do uh, side ops where you're, uh, you you got to go against tanks, and then I take the tanks peacefully. That's always fun. <laughs> Just run up, yank the guy to the tank, and extract the tanks, and they sell for good money. Alright, we're going the rest of the way on foot. Come on, D-Dog. Going for a walk, buddy. After playing Wildlands, I'm so used to having the drone all the time, and I don't have the drone. Let's see what we got. D-Dog's pretty good about marking things. Okay, so we got two guys there. We got this uh, air defense radar. You know, I'm not seeing a lot of defense up front. My suppressor's already gone off this rifle. Man, I gotta do something about that. Here's what we're gonna do. Can I send D-Dog in? Hold them off. I keep these guys... Oh, they're too far away. Or actually, wait. I can take both these guys with one shot. Hold up. Wait for it. I can, I can actually take them both with one shot. And they're being all... close together over there. There we go. That's how you do that. Shit, it's trucking coming. From the rear. Just take it now, take it here. Got him. Yeah, that could have been problematic. Hearing gunfire, all right, let's... See if you can get rid of these bodies. They'll probably see the ones up there, though. It's okay. Let's at least try to start stealthily, right? Let's at least try to begin stealthily during alert status. Again, way I like D Dog, he's going to mark the guys as they get near me. Let's get these guys off the road, though. Man, after playing Wildlands, this is such a, a refreshing game to play. The, the mechanics are so much better, they really are. All right, now we're gonna have guys probably find the bodies of the guys I dropped over there. Back to my sniper. Make sure we're scope. Okay, with the sniper, I like to acquire the target like this and then go to my iron sights. With my assault rifle, I like iron sights. It all depends. Oh shit, there's that guy right there, he's moving up. All right, all right, we got this, we got this. We're gonna move in sniper style. Because of the reflex thing, when they spot you, it gives it actually buys you time to get a quick sniper shot. Now that said, this is a slow firing sniper rifle. It has. Let's go find out. Where? Ah, 
shit. Oof. Yeah, that was a bit shot. Boy, I missed that one, didn't I? By a mile wide. Alright, and this is why we're the battle dress. We're hot. We are hot. Alright, let's see. Can we climb this? Yes, we can. Let's see if we can get to a good spot where they may not find me. I wish I had D-Dog better armored and uh, prepared for this. Right there we get the Ginny. Can we shoot the Ginny with a... Uh, No, nah, it doesn't look like it. Yes, we can. All right. That probably just caused more panic. I don't know. Oh, shit. Oh, I was using Wildlands buttons. I keep pushing triangle to change my weapons, and it makes me fall the barrier. All right, no worries. We got this. This is what we're good at. This is why we're in the battle dress. Okay, I'm not that good. Maybe that's why you need the battle dress. Ah, that's one down. Let's see what we got over here. Nada. They're all coming this way. Alright, that's another down. Let's get back. Let's get back. Um... Chuck a grenade out there. Oh shit, how'd I get the uh, sniper? That's not good. We want this guy out. Ah, shit, let's advance. Ah, oh, fuck, I had to reload. Don't you hate that? That's him down. That's him down. Actually, extract this guy. And these guys will just, uh, coup de gras. Because I hate Russians. Okay, not really. In real life, I have a lot of Russian friends, but in this game, I hate freaking Russians. <laughs> okay, well, well, I should be maybe politically correct. They're not Russians, they're Soviets. I hate Soviets. Alright, let's keep moving. Come on, D-Dog. Let's move in. The dog is a good pet for me because I am so loud and reckless and he marks as I go. Um, speaking of being loud and reckless, as long as we already are, let's just try that freeing thing. Uh, this way, if I need to bring in air support, I can. Alright. See, that's why I like D-Dog. He just marks that shit right up for me. Oh, shit, he's still shooting at me. Outpost captured. Well, that's probably just the outer outpost. Oh, wow, we're deep in here. <laughs> we're like balls deep in this place. Let's go ahead and... Uh... I don't drive much. I'd rather sell that thing for what I can get out of it. Then, uh... Alright, we're going in here, it looks like. This might be easier than I thought. I thought this was like a rough mission. It's so much fun, guys. And after playing Wildlands for over a year, this game is just so refreshing. The, the tactics... The body armor works. The camo works. You know, the guys are actually smart. These guys are... The AI in this game, like, as far as AI goes, is pretty damn smart. I've seen them do some tricky moves. Oh shit, what are we doing here? Okay, this might turn out to be more than I bargained for. <laughs> well, I was bargaining for quite a bit, though, so to, you know, to be fair. As long as I don't have to fight skulls. I'm not really equipped for that. Oh, this is where you first see the, uh... Sahalanthropus, whatever it's called. It's not operational yet. The remote piloting and AI control haven't reached the application stage. Who said anything about an AI? That was Coldman's mistake ten years ago. 
This game has such a crazy weird story to it. Postural control to accommodate a human pilot. I share your urgency, but we need more time to finish it. Right. Planning on leaving us, Doctor? Huh? What? We're taking your legs back! <laughs> Man, don't hurt Hal. He's such a good guy. So you're just gonna kill me? So Holanthropus is mine now. <laughs> okay, Lone Ranger. Listen, I may dwell in the dark. I refuse to be judged by your standards, traitor! I hope your friends give you what's coming to you. Uh, his friends will give you what's coming to you. So there's that. Take him to the base. Oh, see, I was right. It is the first appearance of the Walkers and Sahalanthropus, just not in the way I thought it was. I was thinking this was the base where it had Walkers, like, patrolling it and shit. We still have use for him. I love D Walker. D Walker's a fun pet. If you're loud and proud like me, D Walker is a fun buddy to have. Do I have to fight this thing? I forget what happens here. This might be it. This might have been anticlimactic. That's okay. We're slowly working into my uh, Metal Gear Solid 5 video series here. I hope you guys enjoy it watching my reckless play. I'm not near as good at this game as I am at Wildlands. It's, it's going to take me a minute to get my, uh, like I said, my sea legs back. Yeah, please, wheel that thing away. I don't want to fight that for a very long time. <laughs> I somewhere I have a video of my original fight with Sahelanthropus. Uh, you know, like the end boss fight. Man, I deleted it. It's too bad. I shouldn't have deleted it. You guys should, you guys should see that. I, I don't look forward to doing that again. <laughs> I like the tactical shooter uh, aspect of this game, the sci-fi aspect of, of this game, which just, you know, it, it just comes with Metal Gear Solid, it comes with the territory, you're going to get some, you know, Japanese anime style sci-fi action, and it gets a little crazy. Alright, sight out complete. Alright. The weapon system had disappeared into that cave, and the man who was with it. Emmerich must know something about what's going on. He was transferred to the Soviet's base camp. I've marked it on the map. Make your way to that base camp. Why did I do a headshot? I know they have helmets. Okay, so this next mission must be the one I was thinking of where you extract Emmerich and you have to fight the walkers and shit. Alright, let's move in. Let's see what we can get from here. Always want to move in and uh, clear the place out. Guys, thanks so much for watching my little side op here. Wasn't as, as eventful as I had hoped, or as I had thought. Uh, actually, kind of a good thing. I was thinking it was going to be eventful in a bad way. We're going to pick up some resources. We're going to bug out in uh, next episode. Perhaps we'll be extracting Emmerich, or I might play a little bit more. See, I haven't even unlocked the gunsmith yet. I was really hoping I could unlock the gunsmith before I posted any more videos because that's where it really gets interesting. That's where you're really farming for resources, modifying weapons. That's when loadout strategy really comes into play once you have more loadout options available. So guys, I may see you on the next mission or I may see you there. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Dark Dally. I will catch you guys next time.